Alright guys, I got something really spicy and juicy to talk about in this video. Now, now I know you've seen the thumbnail and you might be thinking, is this another ad video or is this another poopy stinky fart playtime video? And the answer to that question is no. Okay. Kinda. Well, it's about ads and it is about poppy playtime, but not in the way you think. This is something that goes deep, deep into the rabbit hole. Something I wasn't expecting to happen, especially with my channel size. It's weird, it is goofy, and I, I really just want to talk about it. So let's start where it all began, alright? On the 5th of June 2022, I uploaded a video about poppy playtime simply called Poopy Playtime. You get the joke? You get it? God, I'm hilarious. This video is basically just a standard review on the game in question. I just go over my thoughts, try to break the game down, and I just I just express my opinion. It's a fairly standard FOCO video, honestly. Nothing groundbreaking. And this video, it did pretty well. It's currently sitting at a juicy 350k views. That's good. It means the YouTube algorithm did its job, and I'm very proud of the mega corporation behind it. So everything that has happened so far is pretty standard all right i got a video id i made the video uploaded it entertained some peeps and i thought that would be it honestly but little did i know there was a dark force brewing behind the scenes this video got a lot of new eyes on my channel since it managed to get into the algorithm and one of these sets of eyes is a channel named poppy playtime not the official mob youtube channel a fake Wannabe simply called Poppy Playtime, racking up a whopping 644 subscribers and two videos. One of these videos is called Download Poppy Playtime for Devices. That's it. This video is a short clip from chapter 2 including a mod that replaces mommy with, with, with Ro Roxanne Wolf from Security Reach. I will never escape this game, I swear to god. And the other one is called Download and Play Poppy Playtime. And instead of explaining what it is, I'm just gonna show you, okay? Here you go. With toys, it's uh... uh uh, going in will game first. We can rant about it. Really, really enjoy this. The player, it is all in real time. I especially really like all the interactions with mommy and the playtime. I'm not joking when I say this. That's the video. I didn't edit it. I didn't cut it. I didn't add music. This is unironically the video. You want proof? All right, I'll give you some. Click the link in the description and go see for yourself. I'm not trying to play some weird game or troll, all right? This is a real video that someone made and put on the internet. Like, wh what the hell, man? When I first saw this, I was just confused and lost, especially when I saw the view counts. More than 3 million views Jesus Christ now now there is a reason why this number is so inflated though you might have seen these before fake mr. beast ads telling you to claim your free $750 uh, this should be obvious but these are straight-up scams don't you ever click on them all right well that's what basically happened with this video it was used as an ad my perfect poopy playtime video has been caught up in such a nonsensical way to be used as a fake Ad. And, and you know what? It worked. This happened to Pyrocynical actually a while ago, but the only difference being is that one actually made some sort of sense. A clip of him was used as a reaction in a in a mobile game ad. The same goes for all those fake Mr. Beast ads. I can understand why they exist, no matter how crappy it might be. But this, on the other hand, like I don't get it. The first thing I want to know is why me? I can understand using Mr. Beast or even Pyro likelihood in your ad since these two are well-known figures in online circles especially mr beast but i am a nobody in comparison i'm the definition of a niche micro celebrity why, why the hell did they take my video and not let's say a video made by markiplier or jacksepticeye like it boggles my mind look why me Seriously! The second thing I want to know is, what is this ad even trying to say? The video is just so illogical and stupid. It is just a jumbled up mess of my original poopy playtime video with no flow or cohesion. Now, I do have a theory on the matter though. I think this video was completely made by an AI from top to bottom because what weirdo would go out of their way to make something this idiotic? My next theory 
theory would be that it was made by someone that doesn't speak English, but then you would know not to just cut in random intervals, right? Again, I'm just lost. So instead of just sitting here like a big old bag of potatoes, I decided to take some action. I wanted to know where this dumb little rabbit hole led to, and thankfully, alright, someone actually managed to take a screenshot of the ad in question. And yes, there is a link included right here. Now, now of course, I'm gonna censor this because I don't want any of you to actually look this garbage up and get some weird Bitcoin miner installed on your PC because that would suck a lot. So I'm just gonna play it safe and please just just don't try to look into this. It is not worth it, alright? Trust me. Alright, so if you click on the link, please never click on random links, okay? You arrive here on this extremely ugly and sketchy website that is promoting four games. Fortnite, GTA Vice City, Minecraft and you guessed it, Poppy Playtime. If you click on any of these games, you get redirected to their store page. But something feels really off. There is a description, but it doesn't feel like it was typed by an actual person. It feels too cookie cutter, generic and bland. Like an AI made it. You, you see what I mean? There are also these two big download buttons. And if you click on either of them, it, it doesn't download anything. It just redirects you to this extremely crappy article that once again feels way too cookie cutter, generic and bland, like an AI made it. It's so goddamn weird man, what's the point of this? So I started asking around what this whole thing was about because I, I was just completely lost. Personally, I, I don't know a lot about scamming, phishing or computer science in that matter. All I really know is to be careful with who you trust and what you click on. And most people I talk to that actually know stuff surrounding this said that this whole shebang probably used to be a scam but they got caught and they had to change it to whatever the hell this is that's it yeah it's super underwhelming i agree with that but what a wacky ass rabbit hole man i never expected this to happen to me in the slightest and i do genuinely feel bad for all the three-year-old kids that actually did get scammed because their brain isn't fully developed yet you would think that the people that have made this whole hellscape are at fault here and and yes they are, but how the hell does YouTube slash Google allow this to happen continuously? Like four years ago, I made a video on V-Box scams and this shit is still prevalent? Isn't there a weirdo that's supposed to check if these advertisements are legit? Like, like, come on, how does this crap go through the cracks? But yeah, that's where our story ends. If this whole journey should have taught you anything, it is that uh, scamming is okay and uh, Google will promote it. Yeah!